So Richard, welcome to Fright Fest. You know, this isn't your first time at the festival, it is your first time here with the film. How uh, how's the experience differ? It's been so weird. Like normally I'm here as a fan or else I also work the media wall with a close friend. So it's so weird being on the other side of a camera and just, I mean, all the things you could imagine about it, it's kind of been that, you know, being here with, you know, talking to like all the guys who run the festival, talking to all the other filmmakers, it's just mind blowing. It's crazy. I mean, how are you feeling then? You know, is there extra pressure to, you know, to release this film to, to the Fright Fest family? <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's a weird one because I mean, I, I, I'm obviously I didn't sleep a wink last night because we're screening tonight at 11 o'clock and 11:20, and you know, there's a lot of nerves about that. But at the same time, I mean, I'm, I feel very realistic that you know, hopefully, some people will like to film. I'm aware some people will not like to film, and I'm aware that both sides can be very vocal about it. And I'm okay. I, I've made my peace with that kind of thing. But at the same time, it's hard to just. You just have to make your peace with this kind of thing and get over it, but uh, I mean, I'm just trying my best to soak in the atmosphere. I'm here with my producer and I'm here with my star of the film and I'm here with my other star of the film and just trying our best to kind of enjoy the Pride Fest experience as best it can be because I mean, this isn't going to come along every day. I mean, for those that don't know, what is uh, Bring Out the Fear about? So I can say it again? What's your film about? Oh, the film. <laughs> I hate that question. I hate that question. Um, so the film is about a doomed couple who find themselves trapped in a forest, being tortured by malevolent forces. So it's very psychological. It's quite a heavy horror, and I think it gets does a good job of getting under the skin and really kind of fucking with your mind. Hopefully, uh, my hope is that you know I made the film for me. You know, well for my kind of tastes, and I mean I know I'm not the only kind of person who likes this kind of film. So hopefully it'll connect with the Fright Fest audience because I mean I love horror, and when I made it, I always thought about you know what I would like and what other horror fans would like. And I mean you've made film about people getting lost in the woods but you know the film nearly didn't happen because you yourself got lost in the woods right oh my god I had my proper Blair Witch moment of like oh my god I am so sorry I literally my as my wife slash producer will tell you I had on my phone I have a video that is me recording saying if I don't make it out of here because I'd, I'd been scouting locations we'd lost sunlight and I didn't know what was going on and my battery was almost dead on my phone so of course I decided to do my video testimonial because Apparently, found footage is closer to real life than anyone is caring to admit. I mean, did that then sort of like, when you were directing, did you sort of use that feeling to, you know, when you were filming? Well, yeah, I mean, I like to think that everyone felt like they could get lost at a moment's notice, especially with me leading them. And to be fair, I did lead them, like, I, we had a small crew, thankfully, so I figured if, you know, six or seven people go missing, no one's really going to care. But they were following me. I led them the wrong way a few times, but it was okay. We managed. Um, but no, we... I mean, the set was very good. I mean, all the people on it, on our kind of budget, everyone has to be sound. And thankfully, everyone was. Uh, like, you know, people were very good at, you know, portraying the fear on screen, portraying the tension and all, but uh, behind the scenes, it was quite a lot of crack, you know, and that's all you can really want. Uh, as, for, as a filmmaker, all you want, you know, is for a shoot to actually be easy enough, and also for the film itself to not seem like you're just having a laugh. <laughs> Well, I'm going to wish you the best of luck with the screening. You've got, you know, just a few more hours to wait. That's it. I will stand here very tense and waiting. Thank you so much.